What's going on, everybody? It is Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. Now 500,000 subscribers strong. Thank you, everybody, so much for the support along the way here. It has been quite the journey, and it's not stopping anytime soon. We are going to keep it rolling right into this video here today. We have got a Kingston Clash on our hands with the Clash winner's car. Joey Logano, the 22. The door numbers move. I don't really know how to feel about it. It's kind of growing on me, but I know how to feel about this. We got to get the dub, like the Rams. Let's do it. At least they gave us the inside line here for our Wreckfest Wednesday adventure. We'll just pack Reese down into the first corner. I'm jumping the curb out here. Oh, and they can't even make it through the first corner. The turn one meme. Once again, alive and well. Are you kidding me? A parking lot already. This is disgraceful. That was just not fit for human eyes. That's how you oh, get thrown to the back of the pack. Now, if you could get off of me, Tyler Reddick, that would be tremendous. Would you please get out of the way? Instead, we're going to get run over by Chase Sillian. Driving right through my front suspension, and now we're just getting swallowed up by the pack while upside down. Just nothing to do about it. I'm not even going to reset. I'm going to let someone come finish me off, and Larson's going to do it right to the back of the head. That is a hell of a way to start things. But that deteriorated and just went to hell incredibly quickly. We, we went from just driving along to immediate, like, five deep roadblock. The likes of which I don't know that I've ever seen before. That truly was remarkable. And then we have down here the four car doing a one-man roadblock on us that was equally as effective. And Chase Elliott comes through as well as everyone else. We just have a Royal Rumble take place kind of around us. And then if that wasn't enough, Larson's back there on the warpath and he finishes it up with one right in the back of our dome. These forward numbers are supposed to make me faster, aren't they? Isn't that how this works? Oh, Joey, I'm sorry. Joey, I stole your car and he stole Ryan Blaney's in return. And that is a wreck that we have somehow made it through the middle of. I don't, don't ask me how. We just hit the gas and keep pushing kind of like this. Although this is not, well, actually, hold on. It might be going pretty good and it does. These AI are taking a rather interesting racing line through here. What are you buffoons trying to wreck yourselves for? Priest out here doing a ultra swerve all the way across. Yeah, there you go. Swerve the wall. No, Joey, we lost them. I'm getting sandwiched over here between Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton doing this clash impression of running into just about everything. It seemed like, I don't know, maybe that was just me who saw that, but it seemed like it. And I got him in random fantasy racing for the 500. This is... A questionable situation as we take out Cold Trickle. Kyle Larson right in the door. That was not good, and I just get sent to the wall. The Chase Elliott gets tapped to death right there. We're going to pretend we didn't see that. All right, Ryan Blaney gets the dub, recovering from the car theft that was thrust upon him by his own teammate, which I might have been semi-responsible for. As we were having to run through all the roadblocks here to try to make it to the end of this thing. And nobody knows how to just die out of the way. I'm in a race here with Bubba for this spot. And that's going to cost me. Have, have you all no decency? When I get creamed, I at least know to get wrecked out of the way. And we're going to wreck across the line and barely sneak by Bubba to take back sixth place. Give it to me. This last lap was a lot hotter than it needed to be. I mean, there was just there was just too many carcasses laying in the road. Like I said, just die out of the way. Don't die in the racing lane, please. I'm begging have we at least a little bit of respect out here? Look at this photo finish. We got him. Only well, we could just do that for the lead. And there goes Priest across my nose. And we send him back the other way. We're just clearing the lane out here. And again, right in the same spot, we're going to have a pile of Landon Castle stuck on the curb. And we reverse an ass pack ourselves. That's nice. Thanks, guys. Embarrassing. Oh, as if they weren't bad enough in turns one and two. We can't even get three and four right. This is pathetic. Oh, three wide. Yeah, that'll work out. They sorted it out somewhat. No, oh, this is just... How am I going to dodge this wreck that is inevitably going to happen? And here it is. What a absolute crystal ball reader I am. Oh, what the hell? Kyle Larson from downtown, three states away, comes in like a Tomahawk missile out of nowhere to T-bone me. We are hitting some sick drifts kind of on the way into the corner and then on the way out it all just falls apart for the AI. They just can't handle it. They just insta roadblock. This is in their DNA. It's in their blood. It's all they know. Can I bust through this Bubba Wallace? Oh, he had to be sacrificed for us to get through here. Bubba, I apologize. Oh, Briscoe. 
I am not getting a McDonald's menu named after me, that's for sure. Well, I lost. Can I at least gain entry to the finish line? Apparently not before taking Harrison Burton to the Shadow Realm. And I'm going to lose a spot to Alex Bowman here. No, he's going to steal my podium from me, you piece of trash. You, Harrison! I'm gonna try to refrain from packing Priest here in the first quarter if I can, but we can't. I had no choice in that one. They just, they forced me to do it. Now I'm packing Dylan. Who's this going? Who's the doofus? Oh, it's Ryan Blaney. Oh, I'm sorry, Blaney. He's, he's been a poor victim of carjacking here in the Penske shuffle that's going on today. Oh, what is that? The leader of our pack here dumping himself Denny Hamlin. That's a very Denny Hamlin thing to do. Just take yourself out. And Ryan Priest tries to strike on Chase Briscoe. It doesn't accomplish much other than taking himself out. And it is a complete parking lot up here in front of us. I, I can't even get through this. Surely there's got to be. Oh, hold on. They might be fighting through. They got a lane. Come on, Joey. Come on. We got conga line through here. We have to. We got it. We even got a race on our hands here. We got Joey for a spot and Martin Truex, who I assume is going around again. This guy might be dumb and there goes Joey. They both might be stupid. And Kevin Harvick's gonna, well, Kevin Harvick took himself out before I could even get there and lay it on him and Martin Truex Jr. packs me. This is the battle for the lead and it's a car centipede. We got cars coming in bumper to bumper slamming each other. That took out the 15. Me and Martin Truex, you were just trying to figure something out. There's no way through this without resetting, is there? Oh my, dude, there might not be any way out of this if I keep getting hit. Look, that hit me right in the door. That had to hurt, oh my God. My legs are almost certainly broken, but that is not gonna stop me from making a lane here. We might be able to push a little lane through this to get a legitimate dub. I don't think we have any competition at this point. I think Martin Truex Jr. is just completely lodged himself in a corner over there. Oh yes, here we go. Oh, that is tremendously beautiful. We have created a lane to get back through even. We're gonna get this dub. Final corner, we gotta drift it to celebrate. We gotta slide it out for that one. It's truly a miracle that we didn't kill ourselves and all that. And it doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't need to. We did it like Lagano. We won the damn war. We got that dub. Well, we charged through the field quite literally had to use ourselves as a pattering ram to shove the boys out of the way and get through so we could even have a final lap. But we did it. We got through there with a sick drift and we are not quite done yet because we collected our first dub of the day. We're going to try and get a second one here. All right, we're back here at the Kingston Raceway. Same layout, same oval track we were just using, but this time we are back here with a mod that everybody knows and loves. The pinball mod is back. No low gravity this time, just pinball again. And we're gonna give it a shot here, try to get that dub. Well, I think we all know what's gonna happen here, so might as well just brace for impact. We already get into Harrison Burton, and that's gonna set the bomb off. What an explosion right from the get-go. We get sent to the infield and nearly struck from behind. Can we cut across this? No, we cannot. That's gonna have to be a reset. Damn, that was a hell of a hot start, and we cannot even get away from it. We're setting reverse, flying backwards. Pinball living up to its name nice and early here. I am amazed I didn't lose a wheel in that. I am dented up on all four corners. We got him coming across the track. God, my car is crushing. They're getting into it up here again. We got Kevin Harvick and Brand, and Brand's running into his old car here. We are causing RFK some money once again, and a mega pack into the pile. How can you not love pinball mode? This is... This is just remarkable. And I really am astonished that we have all four wheels. I'm just about doing everything I can to lose one and we still have them all. I wanna imagine a parallel universe somewhere where this is National Geographic. There's no animals. There's no giraffes out there. There's no hyenas ganging up on a baby kangaroo or whatever. It is all this, just interior shots of the most insane racing you've ever seen. I can't believe I'm still going. I can't believe this two car is still going up here. How is he alive? I've seen him get tossed around a bunch and he's paving the way for me right now. Kevin Harvick. Oh, what happened to you, Kevin? What happened? Oh, Harrison Burton happened. Well, you know what that means, Kev. Leave your helmet on. Oh, Denny Hamlin gets packed. And probably game time, actually, in the long run. That was a helpful pack. I'm actually doing community service out here when you think about it when I'm running into these guys. That's the way I have to look at it. 
What are you doing, Austin Dillon? You deserve to just get blasted. And apparently so do I. Oh my, I'm wearing this tire and I've lost a tire. There it is. We finally lose a wheel and what better place to do it? Now I came out of this corner and I witnessed Austin Dillon do something so asinine. I had no choice but to be his judge, jury, and executioner. And it gets Uno reverse carded right in my face when Kyle Larson puts me down right in broad daylight. I see. Oh, no, I can't. Harrison Burton, I tipped him again. No. I, I, I may have ignited that once again. I am once again asking for your forgiveness, entire field, for nuking you slightly. Just a light nuking. Did I lose a wheel? No, I did not. I thought that that was going to be a real early exit if we did, but this thing is still rolling. We're going to keep it moving. Kyle Busch might have just tried to take me out, but we're gonna ignore that. We got one hiding in the smoke. Austin Dillon with the tactical strike from cover. Oh my God, and we just took Tyler Reddick to the moon. And he did not come down. Surely he's in the Space Force now. That was like the Saturn V rocket. I'm not even mad that this pretty much ends our race here. I have to evaluate this for further scientific purposes. Austin Dillon sets up one of the greatest launches in all of Wreckfest history with the space. This angle right here is going to tell the entire story of the journey from beginning to end. That is Tyler Reddick in that bush car going to space until he does it. He comes back down and we lose him in the trees. How about we don't ram the soul out of Harrison Burton for once at the start? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. We still get tossed aside into the lead just about, but it's not going to count because we had to reset. Now that right there is just cruel injustice. That would have been a beautiful little treat. That breakfast had to dangle out there for us only to snatch it away. <laughs> I snatched Ross Chastain and myself right off the racetrack. Chastain, he's gonna drive backwards. Interesting strategy. Turn one seems to be rather popping. Oh my, Austin Dillon, please. Austin Dillon is making things rather exciting down here by the looks of it. We are fighting him for the lead. Hold on, can I keep pushing him into Kevin Harvick? We are gonna get out of there with the lead. Holy moly. This run is shaping up pretty good. If we can keep it rolling halfway, looking for a gap past Eric Almirola, not gonna find it. And neither is Austin Dillon behind us, luckily. This race is still on though, a Kyle Busch on his lid down the backstretch. Actually, again, got an assist, a helpful pack. And me trying to go in reverse, that's not helpful. I'm just trying to get turned around and get away with some time. And we are gonna do exactly that. Austin Dillon's losing tons of time and Austin Dillon just went out of the race. I saw it on the leaderboard. We got the wrecking assist. We nearly got wrecked by the seven behind us. I don't know what the hell just happened right there. Can we squeak through here on the white flag lap? Oh, I was about to say that would have been the cleanest little dive through there. We barely get tipped. That should do it though. Out of turn four with a drift. And we are gonna get to that line for the second dub of the day. We're gonna have a hell of a time trying to get back through turn one. Gotta use the drone cam here to see what happened to the old seven car. Looks like the 29 just came in and laid the hardies down on them. That could have been catastrophic to our run late here. And speaking of catastrophic, turn one always catastrophic. We barely dodged the 48, just barely missed dodging the 17. But that didn't stop us. We went ahead and got that dub. And we are not done yet here because that one went kind of quick. That only took us like three attempts we are here for the final segment of the video at the figure eight layout of Kingston Raceway. And we are gonna try to get the hat trick of dubs here on the day. Let's see if we can do it. It doesn't take much to realize this is gonna be pretty ridiculous. So a figure eight with pinball. This really ought to be interesting and it gets interesting right off the bat. I could have bet my life savings on that safely. That was pretty much guaranteed because we're packing cars the second they come back from the ghost realm. That is our luck. Watermelon man gonna go for a ride in the 48. So we gotta reshuffle our mind here as they reshuffle the cars. My car won't turn. Brad Keselowski in the six getting T-bone. This game knows too much and it's gonna try to put me down before I realize that we somehow are still alive, but that might change here shortly. We're getting banged all around. Who is doing donuts up here in the middle of the racetrack? Bubba Wallace, Y, and Kevin Harvick's driving backwards. Oh my God, look at the 11 car. We have lost him and we are gonna lose me next here in the 11 again. Oh, that poor car is mangled. Danny Hamlin having a rough day. You would think this was a championship race the way that went for him. Oh 
got his ass. All right, we got to go ahead and drive away from this scene before this gets any uglier. True X reversing across the track. Thank you for that. Harrison Bird is, oh, Kurt Busch coming out of nowhere to drop that spinning RKO on. Oh, he's coming back to do it again. Once wasn't enough. I guess we got to go around again. What are they maybe take a detour? They just decided, no, nope, people are not worthy. Go around again. That, 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 what the hell? I have many questions. I just assisted Kevin Harvick, got him unstuck. Here, I guess I'm just going to play the street sweeper here. Too many of you are laying in the racing lane. We got to move you. 12 cars got to go. We got to go, too. We got to get up to Ryan Priest here. Where the hell has he gone on? So he's only up here. Priest keeps yo-yoing on me on the timesheet. I don't know where that. I think that's him up there, and I think he just got into a good bit of trouble. Oh, no, that was Ross Chastain, but he definitely is causing some ruckus up here for me. If I can get back on the track, that could be the winning move if I can steer this ship. Come on, this car is not exactly handling the best anymore, but I think we can get it home. See if we can get to the intersection without getting wiped out. We got him getting wiped out up here. We're going to help with the wiping out. Oh, come on. Just keep that donut moving right here, Kurt. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to use you as help to turn around. Or maybe not. This is not working. Damn it. You couldn't have got me a little boost here. We're letting the race turn into a race again. Priest is over here launching missiles at me in the form of other cars, and this has become a race again. No, no, wait, no, has it? We're gonna take him out. I gotta take my shot. We took a wheel off of him. No, well, are you kidding me? I took a wheel off myself and I'm stuck on it. Are you serious? This is a real head in the hands moment in channel history right here, ladies and gentlemen. And that pretty much ends in a draw because I go and I think I'm gonna make the winning move by taking out priests and I take us both out. So now what? There's just no winner. I'm not even stuck on my wheel in the replay. I'm stuck on my own hood. This is tremendous. Now we get to try to survive this ordeal again, and we might not. We just got launched into the next county, and it reset us. We went so far. That has to be an Olympic record somehow. Somehow, some way. Although Tyler Reddick probably holds it from earlier still. That was remarkable, and we took the lead with that. Only in this Wreckfest universe of madness does that wind up with us in the lead, and this is how it takes it back right here. It always evens the score. You can never rest on Wreckfest. You always got to keep one eye open on the code at all times. Why is there a mob coming through the intersection right now? It starts popping the second I'm coming through Wreckfest. Why do you do this? Why are you the way that you are? Although we're really not even in danger of losing this race. Something extremely drastic would have to happen. But I don't, I'm not going to put it past Wreckfest, especially when we have the pinball mod on. Shouldn't be so confident. We threw it away pretty easily last time. And Kevin Harvick, he gets thrown away like trash. And I might get the same treatment there with a pack through the intersection like nothing even happened. We're through the final corners here, barring anything and... Barring any further contact with Ryan Priest, we had to get a couple more pack jobs in here, I guess, too. While we're at it, here's just me and Daniel Suarez getting wadded up by the wall. The Truex, our old buddy. Got to see him on the way by Brett Keselowski. We'll just give everybody a slap. On the way to glorious victory, if I can find it. Where the hell is the finish line? Do I got to back over it? I think I just might have to. There it is. Three dubs for Dale, right in time for Daytona. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at the replay and us getting launched. I think we can safely say Kingston provided us with quite a clash ground here. We used just about every inch of it, a couple of different layouts, and we came home with three dubs. We will take that, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you have not already, and also hit me down in those comments below. Let me know what you want to see in future episodes. Hopefully you guys are getting excited for Daytona. I know I am. We'll have some high bank action coming back here to you soon, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button. With that, thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!